Have you heard of the two players here? No, I haven't. Well, you guys in America play right in the bookstore with one Oh, really? It sounds great. I don't take a look. It sounds great. Let's see it. Okay. We hope you and your playing sort of number by 19. All right. <laughs>
sorry. Moray Hill 4098 is busy. Operator! Operator! Yes, ma'am. You didn't try to get that wrong number at all. I asked explicitly, and all you did was to dial correctly. I'm sorry, what number were you calling, ma'am? It's two four one for one second number I was calling under something specific. Now I want to trace that call. It's my civic duty. It's your civic duty to trace that call and to apprehend those dangerous killers. And if you want to... I will connect you with the chief operator. Oh, please! Miss Curtis, please. Yes, dear, what's the trouble? Someone wanting a call trace. I cannot make head nor tail of it. This is the chief operator. Chief operator, I want you to trace a call. A telephone call, immediately. <coughs> I don't know where it came from, who was making it, but it's absolutely necessary that it be tracked down because it was about a murder. Yes, a terrible, cold blooded murder of some poor innocent woman tonight at the little bit thing. I see. Can you trace it for me? He'll track down those men. Well, it depends, man. It depends on what? It depends on whether the call is still going on. If it's a light call, we can trace it on the equipment. But if it's been disconnected, we can't. Disconnected? If the parties have stopped talking to each other. Oh, but of course they must have stopped talking to each other by now. That was at least five minutes ago and they didn't sound like the type who make a lot call. Well, we can try trace. Now it's your name, man. Miss Stevenson. Miss Albert Stevenson. But listen. And, and your telephone number? Plus a party to make five. But if you go wasting all this time. And what is your reason for you wanting this call trace, man? My reason? Well, for heaven's sake, is it in top use? Have you ever heard something? They're killers. They're planning to murder this woman. It's a matter for the police. Have you told the police? No. How could I? So you're making this check into a private call, purely as a private individual? Uh, yes, but meanwhile... Well, you're... Mrs. Stevenson, I seriously doubt whether we could make this check for you at this time, just on your say so as a private individual. We'd have to take something more official. Oh, for heaven's sake! You mean to tell me I can't report a murder without getting tied up in all this red thing? Why, it's perfectly idiotic. Person, I will call the police! Ridiculous! French coolers, I had ulcers. Why not to make it apple pie? We have apple pie. Police department, pressing 43, double speaking. Police department. Well, you know, I need to make that up. 
and I hate to be alone. Even though he says I'm perfectly safe as long as I have the telephone right beside my bed. Wow. We'll look into it, lady, and see if we can check it with the telephone company. But the telephone company said I couldn't check the call in five times the pocket. I've already taken care of that. Oh, yes? Personally, I feel you are more drastic and immediate than just checking the call. What good does checking the call do you the five times of talking? <laughs> By the time it's your talk down, they have already committed the murder! Don't worry, lady, we'll take care of them. I'll say the whole thing calls for a search. I go fully and double search of the whole city. I'm very near for it. And I'm not far from second at you. And I know I'll be a whole lot better if you send around the radio car to this neighborhood at once. So what makes you think the murder is gonna be committed in your neighborhood, man? Oh, I don't know. The coincidence is so horrible. Second Avenue, the control man, the bridge. Second Avenue is a very long street. And do you happen to know how many bridges there are in the city? Up to York alone? Not to mention Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, Staten Island. How do you know it wasn't some little house out in some Staten Island on some little Second Avenue you never heard about? How, how do you know it wasn't about New York at all? But I heard the call on the New York dialing system! How do you know it wasn't a long distance call you overheard? Telephones are funny. <laughs> Why don't you look at it this way? Supposing you hadn't broken in into that telephone call? Supposing you got your husband the way you always do? Would this murder have made any difference to you then? I suppose not. But it's my human. So cold blooded. A lot of murders are committed in the city every day, man. <laughs> if we could do something to stop them, we would. But a blow of this kind, that's so bad, you. Isn't much more use to us than looking at all. Maturity, okay. Unless, of course, you have some reason for thinking this call is a phony. And that someone may be trying to murder you? Me? Oh! Oh no, I, I hardly think so. I mean, why should anybody? I'm alone all day and I can't see nobody except my maid, Eloise. She's a big 200 vulture. She's too lazy to bring up my breakfast tray. And the other person is my husband, Albert. He's crazy about me. Adores me. Points on me hand and foot. He has scarcely left my side since I took six twelve years ago. Wow, then there's nothing left for you to worry about, is there? Oh. And now, if you'll just leave the rest of this. But, but, to but what do you do? It's Don't too worry. late, it's nearly 11 o'clock. Don't worry, lady, we'll take care of things. Will you run gas in the lower the city? Not ten of what? I'm wearing your radio card to watch out, special. Lady, I said we will take care of it. Don't worry. Just now I've got a couple of some other matters here on my desk that require my immediate... Holy fuck! Idiot! What a crazy character, huh? No. Why did I do that? Now he'll think I am a fool. Why doesn't Silver come home? Why doesn't he?
If I could only get out of this bed for, for a little while. If I could get a breath of fresh air or just lean out the window and, and see the street. Hello? Hello, Bert? Uh, um, hello? Hello? Oh, hello? What's the matter with this phone? Hello? Yes. <laughs> 
And she hospital. You didn't have the address, man. No, no, it's, it's somewhere near the cemetery, though. It's a very small private and exclusive hospital where I had my belly son two years ago. Um, and Ketchley, H. One more minute. Please, sorry. Uh, please, please, the time. I don't know, man. You may find out the time by daily Mary Damson 1212. Oh, for heaven's sake! Couldn't you do it? The number hospital is Waterfield 7105. Department, Duffy speaking. Sorry, don't know me. 